This video is about how to set the work zero on your hide and hang control. Um, on the hide and hang control, there's several ways of doing this, but this is the traditional way which uh, goes right back to the original hide and hang controls. So what this actually entails is really just zeroing up the display. It's just like if you had a, a digital readout on a machine, you'll just zero the display up and that's what this this actually does you can use a datum shift to then move this datum uh, and bring it back to its original position but this is the simplest way so we need to get our tool or probe or whatever it is we're going to use to set this datum to a position so we move that to its position using the hand wheel so this could be one of these uh, um, touch probes that's uh, just a manual probe that you touch on the end of a job uh, you could use a, a wobbler. You can use the edge of a tool. So you move it to where you want to set your datum. We then uh, click this soft key that says uh, set datum. It then brings up this uh, next screen and you can select which one you want to set first. We then enter a figure into this box and we can either zero it where we are or we can actually tell the machine where it is. In this case, I'm going to enter uh, 20 into the Y figure. And then I'm going to put zero in the other axes. And you can use this in turn to set each axis. Once you've actually done this, it's a good idea to then physically move the machine using your hand wheel or whatever to this date and position just to check that you haven't got it wrong. The other way of doing it is if you know you're five millimeters away from the job, then physically move it that five so you can see it on the edge of the job and then zero you the, the display up. So once this position's in the machine, then the machine knows where your datum is. And if you want to move this, you've got to then use a datum shift to adjust it. 